Welcome to the battlefields of World War II. In this series, we will be looking at a massive amount of conflicts in chronological order which occurred during the span of World War II. We begin all the way back, when things start to escalate in Asia during 1937, and go all the way to 1945 at the end days of the war. Each conflict will be briefly introduced with information mainly provided by Wikipedia. The battle will then be fought out in Battlefield 1942. All theaters of war, including the Pacific, Western Europe, Eastern Europe, and Africa, will be dealt with. Be warned that there may be historical inaccuracies when it comes to the battles that are provided, but the main purpose of this series is to entertain, not to educate. For your epic journey throughout World War II, look no further. Enjoy! On June 19th, two Soviet motorboats crossed the center line of the river, unloaded 20 troops, and occupied Kinshasa Island. On June 20th, 17 Manchurian police and soldiers were sent to investigate the border intrusion. Soviet troops, numbering around 40 men, were now entrenched on Kinshasa Island and building fortifications. The Manchurian patrol was driven back by Soviet soldiers. On 29 June, a plan operation by the IJA's 1st Division headquarters was approved for a night attack on Kanchazu for the expulsion of Soviet troops from the island. The operation was ultimately delayed and rescheduled for the following day. On the morning of June 30th, IJA soldiers from the 49th Regiment of the 1st Division, led by Colonel Mihara Kanae, launched a prolonged attack against the Soviets. The attack began with the use of two horse-drawn 37mm artillery pieces. The Japanese soldiers proceeded to hastily set up improvised firing sites and load their guns with both high explosive and armor piercing shells. The shelling was successful in sinking the lead gunboat, crippling the second and driving off the third. During the whole confrontation, the Soviets responded with minimal return gunfire that did not result in any Japanese casualties. Soviet crewmen of the first sunken gunboat were left stranded and forced to swim to the north side of the bank, into Soviet territory. Many casualties were inflicted when Japanese troops opened fire on the swimming crewmen with a barrage of machine gun fire. Around 37 Soviet sailors were killed in the incident. The island was left abandoned and was reclaimed afterwards by IGA troops. Hey everybody and welcome to uh, probably the first episode of Battlefields of World War II. Now as you've seen in the intro, we will be doing uh, many battles in chronological order and um, these maps will be done on the game Battlefield 1942 and uh, background history will be provided uh, it should be said though that it could be that quite a bit of battles will not really be fought uh, historically accurate this is a great example actually this first one because as you as you heard the Japanese actually did not take any losses uh, yet, of course, it's a battlefield game, so uh, in this scenario, they will actually take quite a few losses. But it's just kind of cool, I think, to uh, revisit or visit uh, all the battlefields throughout the, the history. We will go really far. We will begin here with the uh, Sino-Japanese War. The Even the Finn Wars is going to uh, to be covered, where Finland actually fought the Russians. Basically, all of the uh, theaters that usually also don't get a lot of attention. We will go to Greece, Holland, and I'm not talking about Market Garden. I'm talking about the three days of... Now, of course, the game won't really look that good. I mean, it's Battlefield 1942. That's the one that started it all. But I do still think these maps look great. A lot of new units, models, and vehicles have been added. Even some new effects. Oh, I gotta reload. This is one of those games that doesn't auto automatically reload. You always have to do it manually. So, for example, in the uh, in the history thing, you were you're talking about the uh, the gunboats that they had. We actually don't have ships here currently available. But here you can actually see the layout of the island. That they fortified themselves in. 
and then found themselves under fire. Ugh, there we died. I will play as both sides. I do have to say that this uh, beginning battle is a little bit less interesting thing because as you can see it's very symmetrical meaning that in the be in the uh, center we will find a stalemate we will find ourselves against a wall and uh, it's probably going to be the exact same experience if we play ugh, with just the Japanese The amount of units involved in this battle might also be more. We have 128 versus 128, or actually 127 might be. But there are in total 255 troops. Ooh. Yeah, this might have been better. Well, that didn't last very long. <laughs> but one thing that I think is gonna, going to be kind of cool in this series is, for example, uh, the changing of technology. I kind of uh, use that, for example, in my series of Stars vs. Earth, where a lot of people are like, where are some of these uh, weapons or tanks? It's like, well, it's still 1939, uh, so they don't have it yet. And here you're kind of going to see the same thing. I don't think a lot of these... Uh, oh, jeez, they're actually pushing. Oh, God. I don't think a lot of the armor was used in this conflict at all, maybe. But, um... Nevertheless... It is cool to, for example, see the biplanes that they still used in World War II. Tanks that they still use. Alright, uh, World War One Tanks that they still use in World War One then as the series progresses, we will see more. The one conflict that I do have to say that is not as represented as much, which I find a shame, is the Polish side. There is a Polish mod, but I couldn't get it to work. Not that it adds a whole lot of stuff, it adds only two maps. But still, two maps is better than nothing. It does have some, though, this mod. It has the, uh... The first, like, Blitzkrieg that they use. Ah, well, I got a lot of kills there. But look, they actually captured this, so... We are being pushed back pretty hard. Got less than a minute left. I decided on purpose to kind of keep the matches a little bit short. Uh, especially if uh, matches are kind of... Similar like this. Yeah, you can see all our troops. Come on, artillery dude. Help us. There you go. If you remember, I actually uh, also used to uh, do something, or I had a vision to do this with Arma, where I would chronologically go through uh, battles in World War II, but my resources there were much more limited like I, s I started there with uh, Tugagran I think in Africa which that battle is also in this so we're eventually going to uh, catch up with that alright let's switch to uh, to the Japanese this time we will play as the axes Let's actually start over here. We started here yesterday. Or yesterday. <laughs> Just a minute ago. Yeah, here we got some of the cool tanks. I'm not entirely too sure where I'm heading. Alright, let's follow that guy. He seems to know where we're going. But yeah, I'll keep the uh, the matches short on purpose. If it's like a really big battle, big event, let's say um, 
you know, D-Day, Omaha Beach, Market Garden, I might make them a little bit longer, but not by much. Maybe like two, three minutes longer for each side. There's, go for example, there's going to be the Battle of, uh, I think, Shanghai, where uh, it's a town assault map. So there's actually quite a big of difference. Let's say you're the assaulting Japanese or the defending Chinese. You get a very different uh, experience, so that's kind of cool. Alright. Let's go kick their ass. Probably what I'll start doing next is... Um, is begin with the winning side. So for example, it was the Russians that took casualties here. So if I would do it by that, I would probably start out as the Japanese. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, we took a hit there. We took a heavy hit. Break it out. Now, I'm not too sure if there's any battle available that is even earlier than this incident. Uh, there's, of course, a World War I mod, but that is a whole different, like, a grand scale of thing. So, maybe we'll do that eventually. Uh, but, again, that doesn't really count for this. Because then you could even go back to, like, 1861, that sort of thing. Where, which I think some of the mods are also for that. Alright, we captured this point. Good, good, good. Ooh. Some heavy losses over there. Oh. Need a medic. Oh, they're trying to recapture. It's the artillery on that side that's beating us so bad. Oh, you know what? Screw the... Screw the medic. Again, these explosion effects are actually new. They're not in the vanilla game. Oh, sorry. Ooh, God. Get one more. Oh, he drove him over. Uh-oh. Tanks incoming. I won't spoil too much of what's coming up, but I can say that some of the really cool things are coming up. Things like Dunkirk, uh, Poit the Hawk. Um, one thing that I tried to find is I used to, back in the day, have a map of, like, Gold or Sword or Juno Beach. I don't remember which one. Uh, so Yuja Beach. Those are not in this mod, though. So if somebody knows in the comments uh, where I can find more of the D-Day beaches because currently I only have Omaha Beach and Point the Hook. That would be greatly appreciated. Because of course ideally once we uh, reach the point of Operation Overlord it would be cool to do all of them. Oh look at that. Nice katana. get in it. Look how small this tank is. Wonder how big the crew is. Gotta be like two top. Oh, they're making a push.
This is actually one of the reasons why I like I find it a shame that current battlefield games don't have like skirmishes with AI because I think it's very well like possible to do so. I mean the next battlefront game will have conquest mode with AI. So why not regular battlefield? Love to play Battlefield 1 with AI. Alright, and that's actually the end of the map. Anyway guys, I hope you like this first battle. I realized that the first uh, this first incident is not that exciting in terms of gameplay wise. But again, we're going through the entirety of the war, so stick around and uh, I will see you guys during the next battle.